Hanshi Steve Kaufman. Welcome to Hanshi's World. Tonight I'm going to talk about my new book from Tuttle Publishing, Way of the Modern Warrior, Living the Samurai Ideal in the 21st Century. This is a major release from Tuttle and one of the better pieces that I have written. And there's a lot of very, very good information and a lot of life's lessons to be learned by thinking in terms of living the samurai ideal. Now, living the samurai ideal is not for everybody. It's a very, very stern discipline. You have to be able to be totally self-responsible. Now, that's very difficult, but there are ways to accomplish that level of uh, beingness. You have to stand with integrity at all times. You must be completely honest. These are very, very difficult things, but what the samurai did from very early childhood was have this essentially beaten into their heads by the elders. And that's why the samurai class developed into a very, very elite segment of society. They understood their responsibility to a higher reasoning. They understood their responsibility towards their emperor. They understood their responsibility to their elders. And because of this particular thing, they were able to commit themselves to lifelong study and training in martial ways, poetic ways. Uh, for example, Musashi was a superb painter. He painted very, very many beautiful things. He also wrote poetry, and he also mastered his sword. But that's just one aspect. There are many, many others. How do you conduct yourself in a business situation? How do you conduct yourself in a personal relationship? And doing all of these things without putting yourself into a position of, uh, I guess, subservience or ingratiating yourself to someone. Being your own person, standing with integrity, being honest, and all of these things are based on your perception of yourself. Now what the samurai ideal is, is to live your life in complete harmony with these ideas. And what I've done is put together a collection of some of my sayings and quotes, 55 in total. And generally what I would do, because some of them were simply there to amuse you, bemuse you, confuse you, and help you diffuse the situation, I decided I would take 55 of these over 400 that I have at random and write an explanation of what I'm talking about. For example, certain things I say there is no such thing as yin and yang, which is not to suggest that yin and yang does not exist. I'm not going to go into the whole thing about this. I'm going to leave it for you to like look it up and find out what's, um, what I'm saying in the book. Here's another one. Intelligence is no excuse for intelligence. Ah, now that'll make you think for a while. Another one I talk about is change. The only thing you can depend on in life is change. And generally, when things are changing, you're going to try to adapt yourself to whatever situation. You're not always able to do that readily. There's always some kind of a problem that's holding you from acting one way or another. So you must train yourself. And this is another aspect of the samurai ideal. Training your body, training your mind. If you find yourself not in the perfect uh, physical condition, change it. Uh, how do you do that? You demand it of yourself. The same way, if things are too easy to get, they're pretty hard to hang on to. They don't have the same intrinsic value to you as a person that is something that's hard to get. And when you finally get it, it's easy to hold on to because you know of its value. And all of these things go on and on. You can go back and forth with any kinds of ideas you want. Another one that I'll give you a little bit of insight into is no one is responsible for your fallacies, probably not even yourself. And we explore that approach. We explore that idea. Essentially, what we're talking about in the way of the modern warrior is taking ancient ideas and putting them into practical use in contemporary society. Let's take it to a little bit of a more serious level. For example, 
You should always maintain your mind and body in harmony with each other. For example, it makes sense to take care of your diet and eat the proper foods. It makes sense to exercise and conduct yourself in a smart manner in all the situations you get into. And if it isn't there, the samurai would understand to demand it of himself. And that way he could keep his balance and all things that he was involved with without leaning one way or the other, and so on it goes. For example, when you're training in your dojo, when you're training in your classroom, or anywhere that you are, or you're getting prepared to negotiate a business deal, you've got to understand, and you've heard this countless times, that you must plan for the event. You must plan for the situation so that when you get into it, you're natural, you're comfortable, and there's no need to be squirming around, you know, gee, what am I going to do next? You know, wow, how do I handle this? You'll just flow with ease and grace, the same way that I'm flowing here with ease and grace. And this is based on my years of devotion to essentially the samurai ideal. I've done it through the martial arts, I've done it in business, I've done it in the arts. You keep on going. And the reason you keep on going is because there is no end to the learning process. Living with integrity and maintaining yourself as an honest person in every endeavor, in every situation is extraordinarily difficult to do. I don't have to tell you that. You're all grown-ups. And if you're not a grown-up yet, you'll find out. Things are not always the way you plan them. As a matter of fact, the more you plan certain things, the more likelihood there is that something will go wrong. Okay? So, but you can't just totally be mindless about a situation. Say, okay, hey, if he attacks me, I'll just pull out my sword and cut him. No, what you're doing is you're maintaining the samurai ideal. You're practicing. You're constantly working on what it is you're doing. And as you do more and more of this, it becomes essentially you. You know, in the beginning, to know something is one thing. To realize that something that's something. But to be it, this is no thing. I'm not saying nothing. I'm saying no thing because you are totally natural in what you do. You know, it's like your second nature kind of a thing. Well, there's no real second nature. I mean, you are what you are. By understanding the samurai ideal from a very serious level to a very lighthearted level is going to give you an insight into their society and their culture and their thinking. That's not for everyone. Being a samurai was not for everyone either. Though if you were born into the society, you had to live your life a certain way. But as with every society, no matter what you're involved in, there are those who will succeed and there are those who will not succeed. I didn't say fail. There's no such thing as failure. Everything is a complete and total success. If you're not going to be successful at something, well, you have an option. You can try it again, or you can walk away from it. Okay? But failure is its own completeness, if you put that in your mind. The samurai did not understand that concept. They would not permit that to occur in their lives. If something wasn't happening the way they wanted it, they would sit there and think about it for a while and come to terms with the issue and be able to deal with it. Other things you might get involved with, for example, are personal relationships. Personal relationships are very, very good in the beginning, but then they go through a period of trial, and then they go through like an either a continuation or a breakup. But there's a way to conduct yourself through every aspect of a relationship. You can't just say, well, I'm going to do this. If it works, cool. If it doesn't work, that's not good. That's not samurai thinking. What you're doing is putting yourself into a situation, saying, here I am, this is what I have to do to make this work for me and for the person I'm involved with, and I'll explain my particular situation to the person I am involved with. If there's a meeting of the minds, we go forward. If there's not, we don't. But all of this essentially seems like something mystical. The samurai mentality is common sense. What is it that you want to accomplish? Whatever it is that you want to accomplish, and this is not a motivation book, whatever it is you want to accomplish can be accomplished with ease and grace 
if you will really see what it is that you want to accomplish. I tell a lot of my students, you know, uh, they say they want this, they want that. I says, you know, that's very, very attainable. Why don't you write down what you want in 25 words or less? Or tell me in 25 words or less what you want. Some of them can do it and some can't. The ones who can do it have a clear vision of where they want to go. That was the samurai mentality. Where do you want to go? Where do you want to be? I mean, it wasn't as laid back as it's portrayed to be. Like the samurai sat around listening to samisen music and drinking tea. No, a lot of samurai were outside listening to samisen music and drinking sake and having a good old time at the same time so they didn't like become bored with their own self. A lot of people consider the samurai to have been saintly or very, very spiritual. They were fierce warriors. They were as fierce as any society that creates difficulties for those who do not pay attention to them. I can go on with this for hours at a time, and I usually do. But I want you to pay attention to the way of the modern warrior living the samurai ideal in the 21st century. I'm Hanchi Steve Kaufman. This is Hanchi's World. You want to contact me, sfk422 at gmail.com, and of course the website, hanchi.com. Any questions you have, for those of you who know me, I answer every question as long as it's presented in good taste. Way of the modern warrior, living the summary ideal in the 21st century. This is a fun book. This will certain ways confuse you, but it will give you plenty to think about. Again, from Tuttle Publishing, Way of the Modern Warrior, Living the Summary Ideal in the 21st Century. It'll be available September, October of this year. Thanks for watching.